Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The boys' 15th region all A Classic continued tonight in semifinal round action for the chance at a title tomorrow night. First up, it was the Sheldon Clark Cardinals and the South Floyd Raiders. In the first half, both teams battling, both teams shooting over 55% from the field. On to the action this week, touch Chevrolet Player of the Week, J.R. Tackett with the jumper for the basket. He knocked in 22 points in the night, leading the Raiders. Another contributor for the Raiders, Shane Kidd from distance. Three-point basket good as he brings 15 points to the table. Sheldon Clark's Dylan James driving to the basket for the floater. He's responsible for 19 points and another man responsible for some points. He was four for eight from the arc, totaling 18 points in the game. The Cards would have 17-point lead on the Raiders, but in the second half, they would have to come out with their veins on fire, with taking the lead to just one at one point. Second half of the game, Shane Kidd was successful again with another three-point basket as the Raiders begin to close the gap, but the Cards are dangerous from the perimeter. Last-minute fouls and points would do the damage as the Raiders fall in the semifinals. Final score in the 15th Region All-A Classic, Sheldon Clark 74, South Floyd 65. Sheldon Clark now has a seat in tomorrow night's championship match. Who will be the one to take on the cards? Well, it'll be the winner of this game right here between Pikeville and Eastridge. Two good ball games tonight from the East Kentucky Expo Center in the boys' 15th Region All-A Classic. Eastridge putting in work. Big man Dawson Clark with two blocks in a row, pushing it to Matt Miller. He goes coast to coast and count it. It's good for the Warriors. They're doing rather well inside, but outside they're just as good. Chris Bevins from the wing knocks it in, but Pikeville's Connor Roberts was there to answer. He put up 18, and I told you from the perimeter, Chris Bevins again dropping five of his six attempts from the arc for a total of 21 points on the night. Panthers just up by five at halftime, picking up in the fourth quarter. Wyatt Battle leading all shooters tonight with 28 points, which kept the Panthers in this one. Both teams answering the call, but within the final minutes, Michael Kahn, Dawson Clark, and Matt Miller all hit three-point baskets to bring the game within one with 11 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Warriors call a timeout. Pikeville missed their last four free throws, which gave, which would have given them the game, but Michael Kahn draws the foul and the shot, and he picks up the point to go into overtime. And that was all they needed was a little extra time for the win. Final score, Eastridge 67, Pikeville 65. And tomorrow night's championship matchup on the boys' side of things will feature Eastridge and Sheldon Clark at 8 p.m. And, Gary, we can't forget the girls' action tomorrow as well in the 15th region. It's Sheldon Clark and Paintsville tip off at 6 o'clock. Look forward to that. We'll be right back. If you hear of a news story, let us know. Email us at newstips at ekbtv.com.